What's going on YouTube? Back here with another video today and today we're going to be talking about electric vehicles and how they could be so much cooler, at least in my eyes. I know that this is kind of a hot topic and there's so many opinions about it and I really don't know if anybody has explored this option or the possibility of adding something like this to an electric vehicle yet, but I really would like to see manufacturers, namely the two only that are really producing powerful electrical electric vehicles at this point being Tesla and with Porsche just now releasing their latest option in the electric vehicle segment the Taycan Taycan however you want to pronounce it and also I'm sure we're going to be start seeing some stuff from Chevy and Ford Chrysler all of those companies as well so this is really something I'd like to see brought into the mix with electric vehicles so that being said I'm going to get into that in just a moment but i really wanted to say thank you real quick to all of the people that have recently subscribed to the channel i really appreciate it and i'm very so thank i'm very thankful for that if you haven't subscribed yet please do uh hit the subscribe button below and also this video is probably going to get a lot of attention in terms of uh people that are hating on the discussion and people that are for it so please down below in the comments let me know your thoughts and opinions so we can get into this a little bit deeper and try to work through this and hopefully come up with a solution and maybe, maybe we'll come up on the radar of one of the manufacturers and hopefully they can possibly fulfill this request. So let's go ahead and hop into it. As many people know, electric vehicles have really come up in the past few years and mainly due to Tesla pushing the limits and the possibilities of what is capable of these vehicles. You know, for the first however many years, we only had the hybrid vehicles and those left a lot to be desired. They were really just fuel efficient vehicles that had, uh, you know, partial battery use and to be completely honest with you, I never really liked them. I worked on a ton of them and I uh, really developed a, a strong distaste for them. So whenever the true electric vehicles hit the market, uh, there was the Nissan Leaf, and then we moved on to what Tesla had to offer. And Tesla really opened up the floodgates in terms of power. They they have these vehicles now that are that are beating these supercars, which is amazing. And it's it's instant and it's absolutely insane the power that these things are putting out. And recently with Porsche releasing the Taycan, it's really pretty cool to see the competition and everybody kind of starting to hop in the ring. All of the other people that have announced that they will soon have these new vehicle companies that are now putting their, their hats in the ring. I think it's really cool. So that being said, electric vehicles, there are some inherent traits that they already have, and I think there'd be some cool traits that would be a nice add-on, especially for those of us uh, combustion engine folk that really enjoy what you know a combustion engine sounds like and so on and so forth. So electric vehicles have a ton of power, a ton of power, north of 700 in some cases, and it's just crazy quick, insane speed, and it's just awesome. Uh, they obviously don't have a motor, you know, they have, well, electric motors, but you know, no, no combustion motors. So there's absolutely no sound that correlates with speed or throttle position. Um, you know, typically with a gas engine, as RPMs would increase, you would have a more robust sound, the higher the RPM goes, uh, in this case with electric vehicles we do not have that and that is the unfortunate thing that's something that i wish that they had let's let's see what elon can do or let's see what porsche could do or see what one of these manufacturers can do in terms of that because i think it would be really cool to, especially because i know elon does all the quirky stuff i think it'd be really cool if he added like some star trek you know soundtracks to the throttle, you know, as the throttle is depressed, you know, say past 45 or 50 percent, there really is a, a stronger output of sound and it could be, you know, some whizzing or some electric sound of some kind. I'm going to try to put together a soundtrack real quick or or some, you know, cross editing stuff. So bear with me. I know my editing is not the best. So if you can, just just give me a chance. Thank you. 
basically what I'm looking for is some type of audible response with, with acceleration or with throttle position. I think it'd just be really cool because me, myself, I've always enjoyed driving internal combustion engines and adding exhaust to them and not really necessarily having to look at my gauges all the time, but really focusing on driving my visuals, you know, my audible noise that I have from the tone of the exhaust, from my engine to my transmission, to all of the stuff that really connects you with the driving experience. I think that that is huge for a lot of us that truly enjoy driving and that truly enjoy you know what it is to to drive an internal combustion engine i think it's just something special and um you know there's so many noises and so many sounds that go along with with vehicles from superchargers turbos you know rotary engines they're all so special you know v10s v12s they just have such unique sounds and i think with the electric vehicles not having any noise whatsoever it just really takes away from the experience and you're kind of detaching yourself from what it truly means to drive and i know you know 50 75 100 years down the road you know majority of vehicles will probably be electric if not all electric and we won't really have you know people will lose touch with what vehicles once were but all of us you know i'd say for the next 50 to 75 years are always going to appreciate that degree of sound that these internal combustion engines put out. So that being said, that's my thoughts. That's my opinion. I really think that it would be cool if these manufacturers did something and not saying for a sound all the time. And I'm, I think it would be possible to turn it on and off. And I think it could be fixed pretty quickly with a sp small speaker or throughout the speakers inside the vehicle, you know, to have this noise flow through. And I think it could be could be related to throttle position, uh, not necessarily on the lower range, but once you get north of 55 or 60 percent, really have that audible, you know, come into play. And as the pedals pressed harder and you know further down, you know, get louder and progressive and very responsive in terms of pedal position. I think it'd just be really cool. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. I would really appreciate a discussion around this. And if there is already a solution out there on the market that I do not know about, please let me know because I think it would be really cool. And in the future, whenever I decide to get an electric vehicle, say for the family, uh, I think that that would be really cool to add to it. So that being said, let me know your thoughts and tag Elon, post to Twitter, whatever it might be. But let's get some discussion going on about this. I think it'd be a great addition, especially with the market heating up in the electric vehicle space. That being said, please hit subscribe. Please join the conversation down below. Be sure to like this video and be sure to uh, catch me on the next one, guys. I thank you again for the people that have recently subscribed. Thank you so much. Talk to you later.